Okay, today I'm going to do another short story uh, video. So it's going to be three different short stories. The first one involves my cousin again, Amber. And one year, we were hanging out for Halloween. And I was going to dress as Slash, but I never got the wig or anything. All I got was the top hat. And the top hat came with white gloves and a cane. And I never got the rest of the costume. So I wasn't wearing any of it. Well, my cousin Amber dressed as a Playboy bunny. But we kept laughing because she kept calling it Fat Rabbit all night. That was funny. And uh, so I wanted to go in Barnes & Noble. And uh, we pull up. And I'm and I'm like, let's go in. She's like, I'm not going in. You, I'm the only one dressed up. You're not. And I'm like, what am I going to be? A poorly dressed magician with my top hat, my gloves, and a cane? And uh, she's like, well, I'm not going in dressed as Fat Rabbit. So we're just sitting there. And uh, in front of the car, there walks uh, just a dude and a little person, woman. They're holding hands. They're a couple. Amber goes, Aw, unforbidden love. And I thought for a second, I'm like, I said, unforbidden means there's not, nothing, like there's no barriers. What the, What are you talking about? <laughs> so we laughed at that for a while, and then I went in alone because she wouldn't go in dressed as fair rabbit. So uh, the second story, bringing back one y'all really like to hear about, Grandma Cash. I'd go hang out with her all the time, like I said, and almost Every day we'd go to the her mailbox, and for some reason, every day her mailbox was stuffed. I got, you know, I got a, I got a kind of a PO box now. I guess when you have a PO box, you get every bit of junk mail ever. So every day she'd bring this huge stack of mail, go through it, and put it on her sun visor. And after about a week of this, that sun visor was like hanging down this low stuff with mail and we'd be just going down the road and all of a sudden the mail would just hit her in the face and she'd go <gasps> like she just got hit with, a, with like cold water and this happened once a month probably when i was hanging out with her and it's the funniest crap i've ever seen um so that's the grandma cash story the third story it was christmas my brother was staying with us and my brother knew that my mom had got my dad a Mossberg uh, gun for Christmas. But they'd also got my brother a gun. Well, we're opening presents and they tell my brother to reach under the couch. He had another present. And he reaches out and he pulls like the butt of the gun out. And he shoves it back in there thinking he got the wrong whatever's under the couch. Because he thought that was dad's gun. He goes, and they go, what are you doing? Why'd you put it back under there? He goes, I thought the Mossberg was dad's. And my dad's like, that's not a Mossberg. And then he knew, oh, somebody got me a Mossberg. So he wouldn't even open his little boxes and stuff. He's like, where's my gun? Also on this Christmas, we're opening presents, opening presents. And then my dad's like, uh, go go dump the ice trays in the freezers for ice for drinks. And I'm like, this is weird in the middle of Christmas. I gotta go dump these stupid ice trays. And then I go in the kitchen and everybody follows me. I'm like, if you're gonna follow me, why didn't y'all dump the ice trays? And why are y'all watching me do this? So, no lie, I get the ice trays, dump them. I only had to dump one, just enough to make drinks. I go to the sink and fill up the ice tray, put the ice tray back in the freezer, and they're just staring at me, baffled. And I'm like, what? And they're like, look. And in front of the sink is a full-size bicycle that I just didn't, didn't see because I wasn't expecting it, wasn't looking for it. I leaned over the bicycle to fill up the ice trays. I don't know how, but it happened. Anyway, that's the three stories for today. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, comment, and share. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.